don't pay tithes unless you're going to pay them like this guy. We are not required or called to pay tithes. Nowhere is the church ever told to pay tithes. As a matter of fact, the church is told not to be compelled to pay anything. What we ought to do is give out of the abundance of our heart and to give cheerfully. And so when you give to the church, you should give that way. If it happens to be 10 percent, fine. If it happens to be 8.3 percent, 12.7 percent, 2.5 percent, he says, do so with a cheerful heart. Don't do so grudgingly. And so if any particular percentage causes you to frown, then don't do it. Now, this particular gentleman actually does pay 10 percent. However, he's doing it the right way. So I want you to listen to how he says it, how he does it. He's worried about it. He's concerned about it. Is he doing the right thing? And I say, you know what? That sort of tithe that he's paying, that's a good way to tithe. Uh, I had this question about tithing. Mm-hmm. Um, had a debate. I had a conversation with my wife. Uh, 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 my my mother, my brother, and we talk about tithing, and I know they say it's, it's not mandatory. Uh, you know, something it was for the Old Testament law. Mm -hmm. uh, but since 2017, you know, I've been through five surgeries. Since 2017, uh, since I had got my uh, VA benefit. Mm -hmm. I've been tithing from my from my uh, VA my VA benefit. Mm -hmm. I attend. So uh, this, you know, some people say I shouldn't be doing that. It's for to help me financially pay my bills. It should not be tithing giving. Nothing to the church because you give what you what you work for, you earn. But I've been tithing since 2017 to 10, mm -hmm. religiously. You know, whatever it is to keep the doors open of the church, keep the lights on. You know, I just wanted God to see my heart and I know that I'm doing my being faithful. Um even though people say I don't have to do so because I don't want to stand before Christ one day. He say, Oh, so-and-so told you to stop giving, stop giving me my tent. And I didn't want to be guilty of that. So I, I just go back and forth in my mind on this. Well, let me say, this. and I just want to know, let me say this about you, Charles and everyone else. It's not wrong to give a tenth, if a person wants to give a tithe, they can give a tithe. If you want to give 15%, if you want to, if you want to make yourself, you know what, I'm giving 20% every, every paycheck or every time I, every time I get something, I've, I've decided to give 20%. You can do that. You're not obligated to, and that's the only issue, just as long as you know you're not obligated to. But if you want to, uh, because you said something, if you want to do so just because you love the Lord or you want to bless your church and you determine in your mind that I want to give 10%, amen, that's fine. That no one can compel. The issue is, can they compel you? Can they force you? Should someone make you feel guilty for that? And so no one should make you feel guilty for not giving 10 percent, just like no one should make you feel guilty for giving 10 percent. If you want if you want to do that and it's because you love the Lord and I just want to I want to do what I can, not because I have to. I just want to. That's different. And I think I think that what you're doing, if you feel in your heart that you want to do that, not because you have to, but because you love him then amen, praise God. That's really where everybody wants to get, need need to want to get to, to whatever we give, we give because I just love the Lord. Now, so can you give from your income or can you give from the VA benefits or can you give from an insurance settlement or from some sort of winnings or someone gave you a gift? Sure, because you look as, 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 uh, as she says, a cheerful giver. If you are a cheerful giver, if you're doing it because right. it, it, one, you love the Lord and it makes you feel good. That's the point of what we're doing. So if it's if it's ten percent, man, praise God. If it's five percent and you feel good, praise God. If it's forty-seven percent, 
Praise God. Now, if the, if the government or someone's making you do that, that's different. You're being compelled to do that. You're being forced to do so. But it sounds like, I could be wrong, but it sounds like you're doing that because you love the Lord out of the goodness of your heart and you want to see the ministry flourish. So then 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 that's 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 fine. That is that is perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, what it really is, is it's commendable. And I think that God is going to um honor that, honor your heart. Uh and so those folks say that hey, you don't have to. They don't have to, nor do you. But right. you're saying, I want to. I love I, I love the Lord. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling right. you to do right. it. I just want to do it because I love the Lord. That's totally different, and that's good. That matter of fact, that's yeah. commendable. We should we should you are at a level that most people are not. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, answer my question because that's you know, my wife said, Well, my wife said, Hey, that's that's for you. That's why at the end of the month that you're you can have you you when the twenty year or the twenty fifth roll around instead of kind of kind of scraping, you can have that's that ten percent right there. And I mean really, you know, I feel like I'm doing my you know in in the body of Christ and yeah we can have a little more at the end of the month but I want to I, I, I want I want to do my part you know even if it's keeping the doors of the church open Amen. to bless someone else you know as long as as long as because someone says what do people think it's mandatory as long as you don't think it's mandatory you're fine and I understand man listen I could not, I could, I could not do this and shoot, I can get me a subscription to Netflix or I can get me a subscription to, I can go get some ice cream or I could, you know, whatever. Right. Uh, right. There's, there's, right. there's always a lot of things that you can do with the money that you, that you, that you don't have. Uh, so right. that, that, and, and we're going to always think that, man, what, what could I have done if I would have kept this, this last hundred dollars or last $50 or two, you know, so. So yeah, so th that's that's yep. always going to be there, especially if things are tight. But I can promise you this: I almost sound like a preacher who's preaching on tithes right here. But I can promise <laughs> you this: God is—I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where—but God is going to honor that. God honors you are like the widow with two mites. Now you have a whole lot more than the widow with two mites, but He said, "You see her, you see her. She's given all she had. Now she didn't literally, literally give all she had, but she gave all she had." Right. And he and he and we know about her. We don't know. We don't even know her name. We just know her sacrifice. And so I think I think you're fine. I think you're fine. Now, if, if you ever okay. if you ever miss a month and you don't do that, you're not going to hell for it. you're not in trouble for it because you were given out of the abundance of your heart. 